Hello, this is Eminem Productions, and today I'm going to show you the history of the blue screen of death, BSOD for short. It started in Windows 3, and we still have it today, but it's in a different style every time. In Windows 3.1, if you press Ctrl or Delete while you're in the operating system, it'll give you a blue screen of death that says, although you can use Ctrl or Delete to quit an application, but there is no application that stops responding, so just so you can press any key to return to Windows and you will return. It has been, I've tested this on VMware. In Windows 95 and 98, there can be a kernel error blue screen. It can happen during startup or while you're working, but it had nothing to do with a program at all. <clears throat> Sometimes it can be some, a virus or anything like that. And now this is the most obvious blue screen, which is the fatal exception blue screen. It only occurs in Windows 95 and 98. It can even happen in Windows Millennium, but I doubt anyone got it. It occurs if you type in con C, con con on run, or if you type it in DOS, in a DOS prompt or anything like that. It can occur at any time um, if a program cannot take an exception or a fatal exception. It may terminate the application, but, it can, it, but if it can and not, the system will just go wild and you need to do a forced reboot. Now, since we're done with MS-DOS based operating systems, let's move on to Windows NT. In Windows NT 3.1 to beta one of 5.0, I just put in 4.0 because a beta don't count. But it will have a blue screen that I will, will start with the word stop and then tell and then the line below tells you the error occurred, which is in their inaccessible boot device. And then it will have a group of, of dumb information in related to certain application that were running during the time. And it'll tell you the kernel debugger and it'll ask you to restart your computer. So technically, it's since it's Windows NT, it's not that user-friendly at all. It just says restart your computer. If this message reappears, do, do not restart. That's, I don't know what Windows NT edition is, but they also mentioned restart your computer and, and go into the, do something with the crash debug. Now we have the Windows 2000 BSOD, which is the same as Windows NT, but there's been some significant changes. Most of the dump um, file cannot be seen, but there will be user-friendly interactions, which asks you if it's the first time you see the error screen, restart your computer. And then it will also give you advice, depending on which kind of error it is. So that's so cool. And yeah. And now we have another most common blue screen of death, which is Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7. I've experienced that blue screen of death over 100 times, some of them deliberate, some of them sudden. But it also gives you even more user friendly advice, tells you that Windows has shut down and it will still give you the stop error code. So, out of all the blue screens I've performed, prefer this one the most. Now let's move on to Windows 8, which is the latest Windows operating system we know today. In Windows 8 Developer Preview, which came out in 2011 and expired in 2012, they changed the interface of the blue screen a lot. More, I wouldn't say it's more user-friendly, it's just okay. It just tells you it ran into a problem but needs to restart. But the details would be less. So they don't even give you the stop code anymore. They just only give you who, who, what, what happened. Like critical underscore process underscore die. Something like that. Or, but in Windows Develop Preview, if something's wrong, it could, one of your blue screens could be how initialization failed. So that's the start of a new era of blue screen. 
But in Windows 8 Consumer Preview, the blue screen's almost the same, but it just replaces PC with your computer. And it tells you the problem once again, and it says you can search online later for this code. Critical process died. But it mostly stayed the same. And now for the finale, we have the Windows 8 8.1 and Windows 8 release preview BSOD, which is kind of my favorite one too because of the colors and the font. What is different is they don't tell you the timer anymore. They just give you a percentage of how much dump data has been completed till the restart. But it still tells you if you can search online for the error if you want to know more. So that's about it. So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. If you have any problems and if you have suffered a, one of those screens of deaths, just comment below and then I will help you. This is Eminem Productions. Goodbye.